Hello Bishes, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to finally be showing you all stuff that I've been working on at Netflix slash Glen Keane Productions. It's been a very hot second since I've ever shown anything that I was working on for a bigger project. But today I can finally talk about things that I've actually worked on now that they've finally been aired on Netflix. So for those of you who are new here, I am Michelle Lamb and I am currently an assistant episodic director working at Tonko House, working on another project for Netflix and which will be released in the future, so until we meet again for that. But when I first started out in the industry, I worked on a series called Trash Truck that was produced by Glen Keane Productions and Netflix Animation, and it is a preschool show that is now on Netflix. There are two seasons and I've worked on a few of the episodes and I actually started off on Trash Truck as a revisionist but I actually was promoted to being a storyboard artist while being on that show so there are quite a few number of episodes where I have both been a revisionist on and a storyboard artist on but today we're going to just look over I guess a part of an episode that I did as a storyboard artist just because there's more content to cover and critique and talk about because if I just talked about revisions it would just be like little bits and pieces here and there and it would just be very complicated so yeah today we are just gonna go over one of the scenes that I did for the trash truck Christmas special because I feel like that was one of my favorite episodes to work on just because of the magic of Christmas and just childhood wonder so that's why I really enjoyed working on this episode and I couldn't have done it without the help of my other storyboard artist partner who's also named Michelle so shout out to you Michelle if you're watching this I just wanted to make it clear first of all that I am not critiquing the show just remember that this is a preschool show and that is the demographic of it so I'm not here to talk about how we could have changed the story or like talk about big idea critiques I'm more here to talk about critiques on a storyboard artist level or things that I could have done better on my scene particularly this is not a video to trash on trash truck let's watch the videos together side by side where there's the finished product my storyboards and then my reaction down here so let's take a peek at it Let's find a good spot to land. 
Okay, so just a few caveats before I dive into this. This is something that I worked on like three years ago, so I feel like they're just different approaches I would take now that I've kind of worked on more projects and I've had more experiences. Like there are different types of decisions I would have made is what I would say. And then lastly, sometimes when you look at boards or like why a show was laid out this way, it's important to remember that every show has their own budget and theme that they must kind of stick to. Like for example, this is a preschool show and we're trying to make something that seems very epic and wide in this show and even though it's a preschool series we want to be able to still incorporate these like epic moments and one of the things that i've always thought about when i was on trash truck was like wow preschoolers are getting such great art nowadays for their tv shows and stuff like i wish i had this when i was in preschool but nowadays i feel like the level of art that we are providing for preschoolers is just improving so much more again it is not like perfect but i still think that this is such a beautiful full scene for a preschooler to be able to witness when they're watching a show. One of my first biggest critiques on my boards in this scene is that I feel like I wished I played with the camera a little bit more. There are a lot of moments where I feel like this is such an epic scene. They're flying in the sky. There's just so many emotions and things to observe that I feel like I could have used the camera a lot more. I think there are there are moments where I did save a camera move for a very special moments which is you know how things should be sometimes you don't want to overuse the camera you kind of lose the moments that are supposed to be the most important like for the moments where trash truck finally took off into the sky that is where i feel like i tried to make sure i had some sort of a rotational camera that was tracking them fly into the sky to make it feel very dynamic and epic so i feel like that was a good move but i feel like also once they fly into the sky there are scenes that could have used some more camera overall that note is to just pretty much be able to push the epicness a little bit more i'm not saying that oh this scene did terribly without it it's just more of like oh it could have been a little bit more epic if you wanted to push that idea more because camera moves kind of really help with giving you know vastness epicness and providing like just a very cool feeling about certain scenes it could have helped but i don't think this scene like suffered from the lack of it okay so that was my first camera note now this is going to be my first acting note and that is that i feel like i wished i made hank which is the main character the boy act a little bit more while he was on trash truck like i feel like overall it felt like he was just sitting there very still the whole time and i mean i know it's impossible for a trash truck to be flying in the sky to begin with sorry for anyone who actually believed that they could fly but um yeah sorry to tell you the truth but yeah i feel like the fact that this scene in general is already very clearly fictional i don't think anyone would question it if hank started standing on trash truck and like have a little bit more movement while he's on the top of trash truck like i get it because you know maybe okay maybe there's something i didn't know about this maybe they're like we don't want to promote children acting so wildly on vehicles like yeah i remember that there's an age rating on this show i think that if i were to go back in time i would have made hank a little bit more active standing looking at stuff turning around instead of just sitting the whole time like if you're gonna be up on the sky in a trash truck you might as well take the opportunity to get any 360 view you can get so these are kind of notes to just kind of help add on to what is already happening like you know this scene has already gone through so many edits and revisions through different director meetings and just different like storyboard artist meetings like whatever was made right now is the best that people were able to do at that time and again hindsight is 2020 and then another thing that i wished i could have included going back in time is that maybe i could have included more shots of miss mona who is the mouse or the rat because i feel like she is a very difficult character in general to show because on this series one of the greatest challenges was showing miss mona next to trash truck because you have an incredible size difference and the thing is that this is not 2d where you can just draw it out and make it look believable we are using cg models and we're using them in space in a 3d world probably on maya or something like that and when you have cg models and cg characters it's 
a lot harder to really cheat having a very small character next to a very huge character so it was very difficult to really showcase her a lot of the times in these boards because you know we only really show her when she's about to say something but we haven't really gotten to see her take on this whole experience as one of the characters that is you know assisting with this whole experience like we see a lot of donnie and walter who is the raccoon and the bear but miss mona is kind of the one who's just like in the back seat and you know you know just being in a world where i feel like we need more female representation in films and shows it would have just been nice to see a little bit more of her excitement being on this in which we do show her i will say it's not like we don't show her at all it's just more of like it was a challenge to just cut back and forth between this wide world and then back to this mouse that first of all isn't the main character so in that sense i guess it's okay this is all subjective again so those are just currently my biggest critiques on these boards i know that's not a lot but at the same time let's remember that when i was actually at work three years ago working on this these boards and this scene in general has gone through many other sessions of review and feedback and critique as well so it's like there's only so many things you can really point out and fix i also wanted to point out things that we did super well on this show or on this scene specifically is that i feel like overall the point of this being a magical wholesome experience was achieved like i think if anyone watched this they would believe like oh wow this is a magical moment for a kid and his trash truck friend and animal friends and santa to be flying through the sky together i think the music supports that i think the lighting supports it i think the whole you know scene in general supports that idea and another thing i will say is even though i just critiqued a lot about like the camera moves and how things can always be more dynamic i think for the fact that this is a preschool show and that this is not meant for like adults or people to really like witness these super cool like high budget scenes i think that there was a perfect balance of very dynamic and static camera angles or moves just because i feel like we chose camera moves for the moments where they really counted like when trash truck blasts off into the sky like you know that is meaningful because prior to that they were struggling to get up into the sky so the fact that they could finally do it is amazing and then other moments where they're in the sky where you see like hank's perspective of his feet and while the neighborhood and the ground below him is just flying past them or whatever i felt like you know that was another great angle choice to just show the kids perspective and lastly my other favorite part of this scene is seeing donnie and walter's reactions like seeing them just be super silly in the sky and just like gallop is just i don't know i just found that really funny so if it puts a smile on my face i think it's worth complimenting but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say for this scene in trash truck it makes me super happy to finally be able to just share something that i've worked on because i always talk about how i work in the industry but i never show what i do and i feel like for some reason i always have to prove myself because yeah that's just my life i know that i shouldn't feel the need to always want to validate myself and the fact that i'm capable of working in this industry but at the same time it just generally feels good to just share something that i worked on for a long time a few years ago trash truck season two is now also on netflix so check it out if you have somebody in your life who might be interested in trash trucks and kids particularly within the 6 to 12 age range i don't know maybe not 6 to 12 like that's not preschool what the hell <laughs> another thing is that arlo the alligator boy is also finally out on netflix and that is another film that i worked on right after trash truck actually and maybe hopefully i can do another critique or review of some of the scenes that i worked on on that show so yeah things are already being released so quickly and i feel like i haven't even been able to get the chance to really get into this whole critique thing maybe i can make it a series like let me know what you think or maybe you know someone will tell me hey you're not allowed to do this take down your video right now and i'll be like never mind guys but yeah it feels really weird just being here as someone who used to just share my ms paint windows movie maker animations and now i'm finally getting the chance to be able to talk about something that is now on one of the biggest streaming platforms on this earth 
Thank you for watching this video and thank you all so much for your support, my lovely little bishes. Like, I can't believe that we all just went on this journey together. Like, I know it's not really together because it's just me who went on this journey and I just made you all forcibly watch me. <laughs> It would be a lie if I did not say that any of you inspired me to keep going because you do and yeah anyway this is getting really sappy but yeah anyway thank you for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one hopefully I can do another one of these with a different scene or something that I did on a different show so peace out and stay wholesome bitches